What it do, your toe? It's your boy, King Mother Effing. You already know the rest, but I'm going to still say it for you, man. Or you can just say it with me, King Mother Effing. Say so, man. Top of the morning. It's currently 7.02 in the morning for me. Depending on what time it is for you, good afternoon, good night, good morning, good midday, whatever you want to call it, man. But y'all see the title, y'all see the thumbnail. Today, I'm gonna I'm explain because a lot of people been at, been asking me this because it's been, even 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 if, even though it's me, some days I look at it like, bro, I already did that, I already did that. But like I said, y'all see the title, so I'm gonna explain to y'all how I am able to to afford my two cars, my Dodge Charger and my Mercedes Benz. Yeah, no kidding, man. But before we get super super into it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, watch the video to the end. Make sure y'all sub to my other channel because remember I am doing a giveaway. And in order to enter the giveaway, you must follow this channel. My second reaction channel was actually is currently going up right now. So make sure, make sure you go sub up. And podcast channel, even though I need, I need to really, really get on some more podcasting. I've been just uploading things that have been going on, on the internet. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to some, some real podcasts because... I be seeing a lot of my comments, a lot of my comments be like, bro, like you be spending some real facts, like, and I know for a fact I be giving out some real facts. Like, I give y'all stuff that a lot of people would charge y'all for, and I, to me, I'm not the type of person I'm not for to charge you for some really that you can go learn that you can go learn for, uh, for learn for free on YouTube, but it's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like for me I learned most things I know. By going through it, by being on YouTube, by dealing with certain things, then I, it's like, I, you know, no, they say you learn from experience. So, therefore, that's why I know some of the things I know. I'm not sitting here like, I know every single thing that you need to do with YouTube, with your life, with this. And, no, no. I can only give you a few pointers that I know of. If it's some pointers that you know of, make sure you drop some in the comments so I can, it might help me out. It might take me to the next level. And therefore, I might learn something else. And I can drop, drop some more gems, and that might help you to the next level. Like, it's a help and help thing. That's what I like. This world is, is so, like, this world will make you selfish. And, it, 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 like, in me, I'm not that type of person. I like, to, I like to do things on my own, certain things. I like to have certain things to my own. But I also, I do like to share. I do like to share. Like, ain't nothing wrong with it. Especially with people that you know. If you was down, if set, if everything went completely left, if they look out for you, like them type of people, I don't, I have no problem with sharing, bro. Like, no kidding. But I'm gonna tell you how, like I said, how I'm able to afford my cars. So basically, like this, um, I pay my cars off. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's the whole thing, bro. Look, I had a. Uh, I had a Mustang. I had a uh, 2000. I forgot what was it. Uh, 07, uh, 07, 08, or something. I forgot one of the, it was one of them years. But I had a Mustang. They wrecked it. Uh, I got um, my car got hit. Got hit from the back. Told it out. It was over, man. Sad day ever. Sad, sad day ever. But yeah, the car got hit. So therefore, uh, and and mind you, mind you, that's why you should hear like. Not to, not to wish an accident upon you, but basically, like my Mustang got hit. I still I still owe kind of when yeah I still kind of owe what the car was, what the car value was. So therefore, I don't really win that that much because they really just paid the car off and I just took took the change. So that money wasn't really nothing. So therefore, I had to stack back up. Cause mind you, when when I got the, when I got that Mustang, I, I saved up. Working, I saved up at least twenty five hundred to get that car. So therefore, that's how I got that, and I have to do the same thing all over again to uh to get my Mustang. I mean, to get my uh <laughs> to get my my Charger. So then, and then with the Charger, all I did was, man, look, be patient. One thing you should always do, and I just learned this: split your payments in two. If you got if you got a car note, split them in two. And I only real I do car notes because. If you buy something off the street, it's a 67 percent chance that car is gonna break down within the first month. Like for, for like for real, for real. Some 
at a car at a car lot. If a car break down with the, within a month, they gotta fix that because it's only been thirty days. It ain't been sixty days and none of that. That's still uh, considered uh, if the, if they have to say you're liable on your own. No, it's it's a such thing called a lemon law. A lemon law, basically, basically, uh, because it ain't been long enough, the the dealership is still liable for that car breaks down. So even if the even if that car has a uh, sold as is thing on it, no, bro, you still have to fix something because it shouldn't broke down that easy. It's every way that that they can get in and in, in and out of that situation, but you just gotta be, you just gotta be careful. But it was like I I uh, saved up the money up, got the charger, I paid I paid paid it off because I was splitting my payments in two. And how you how you split your payments in two? It's like all right, say your say your car note is due on the fifteenth. You will put your first you they say you paying three hundred dollars or three four hundred. Just say four hundred dollars. Just put it like that. Four hundred dollars. You will split. You will give them on the first. You will give them two two hundred, and then two days before a day a day before or or you can be. You could be a few days late because I think they gave you a 10, 10 days. So as long as you pay your your note within that ten days after your um your, your actual due date, you'll be good. So hold on, I gotta say no because because the thing you want to just you want to avoid it is that that late payment because you don't want to go past that ten days to get that uh get a late fee. So and and that kind of looks bad on your uh on your credit score because it, it's gonna show that you make late payments and you don't want that. So therefore, you split your payments in two. You make sure you give them. You give them. Make sure you pay it. So therefore, your credit score, your credit, and your FICO score is going up at the same time because your payments on time, and the system is going to take two payments that month instead of one. See, you gotta listen, man. Be smart. Hey, so yeah, and then what I did was I paid my charger off. I paid the charger off, and then I waited. I saved up the. Uh, I didn't want to jump right to a car note, so I knew I had to play around. Like, basically what I did was I saved up the money that I would have been paying for my car note. I saved that money up. Played with it a little bit because I didn't want to jump right to another car note, so I played with the money a little bit. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I bought no, no jewelry. Unless I'm, unless I'm, nah, I'll just get these. I don't know. I, I, I was just playing with the money, bro. <laughs> I was just playing with the money. So then, and then I got I got serious and I was like, all right, I want a Benz because I always tell myself I want a Benz and I want a Charger, like for a long time. And then like, not especially a Charger, but just a muscle core. It could have been the Challenger, but when I got to look at the Challengers, the thing I don't like about the Challengers is that one. Even though I love my Mustang, well, I loved it. I don't want to go straight back to that because. The thing about the uh, like the Mustang, once you, even though I'm kind of short, I have my seat back. So it's like, once you got it back to a certain to a certain uh, spot, it's like you ain't got no more room to go. And then can't nobody get behind you. Even though I really don't, I, I really don't have people on my cars anyway, and I really don't want nobody behind me. But just in case, family, friends, you might have to pile up some someday for some reason, and I don't want to have to be like, oh, I can't get in my car, kind of, but. So therefore, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go straight back to that. Man, hold on. Go ahead, man. Hey, always want to look and stare, and look all dumbfound, bro. Look at like, ugh, I hate people. But, <laughs> well, yeah. So therefore, I didn't want to go straight to that. And then I like to have loudspeakers. I mean, even though you can get two, some 12s or some, uh, some 10s or whatever to get like three or four of them and make it still the loudest 215s. I like having 215s. So therefore, hold on, man. Yeah, man, like I was saying. So, yeah, the uh, the uh, Challenger, the trunk is small. The trunk is small. So it's like, for me, once I put the speaker in there, that's it. And then like the back seats ain't that, it ain't that, it ain't like it's a gang of own. So therefore, when it comes to grocery shopping, Challenger, if you got speakers, you got music, you kind of you kind of gonna be stuck unless you are gonna pile out the front seat and therefore only one person can go and that still ain't cool. So I didn't want to do a challenger, so I just did. I like the challenger. It's big. It's a big body. It's fast. It's like I can swing the challenger. No kidding. But that's what I did. So I took the money that I would have been paying my car note with. I took that money, saved it up, 
and I saved up and then I went and dropped on my bins. Like that's and that's really it. So one card is paid off and I got one card note. Man, all the people just keep coming. So yeah, so like I was saying, and then by the time I got to by the time I got to the bins, I got really on my record, even though the first one it, it's it was taken like totaled out and paid off. I would have two cars paid off and my credit score went up and my FICO score was, was good because they see my payment was always on time. I never missed. I was making two or like two payments and in one month, according to them, according to the system, like I told you, make sure you do that. Split your payments in two. So therefore, my credit score was up, my FICO score was up, and they see a, uh, uh, they see two cars was paid off. And the must the the Mustang the Mustang costed more than the Charger and the Benz. Not total, but the price range because this was this this what I this what I learned too. When y'all going for, when you when you going for a car, they say you they say they say you just pay the car off. They say you just paid off a twenty thousand dollar car. Even though you better make sure that's a fly car and you get some twenty thousand. Some that you really that you really want that you really really want, but. Um. Oh yeah. What, what was I said? Yeah, hey, I forgot. What, oh. So yeah. So by, by the time I got to the thing, my credit score was up, my FICO score was up, and I, like I was saying, you gotta. You say if you pay a twenty thousand dollar car off, your next car should be that same price range or less or. If you want to, a little more, because the uh, the financial people they gonna see that you already been in a car that was that price range. That's like, say if you trying to uh, if you hopping out uh, a twenty thousand dollar car and you trying to jump into a, a sixty thousand dollar car, the bank they gonna be iffy on that because it's like you ain't got nothing on your credit showing that you have the capabilities or that that you have done in the past. Paid on something that's that amount. That's what they look at. That's how the uh that um uh, what they call it the APR price be super high or your car note be super high because they want you to hurry up and pay this car off before some end up happening. You can't pay, so therefore that's why they try to make it that much. So it's like, all right, we getting these big chunks out. So it's like to say twelve hundred, fifteen hundred. They want these big chunks because you ain't never had no car at this price. And they don't, they don't know if you're really liable to really pay that off. So therefore, if you say if you got some, you pay you pay off some twenty thousand, you go go get another twenty thousand, kind of uh twenty thousand dollar car. Hopefully your car note will be like three, two between two and four, something like that. Five, depending on how how far up that you get that you got your credit score. But that's how, that's really how that's something that I learned along along the way. As far as YouTube go, man, look. Yes, I have a channel that's monetized, ten thousand followers on. Subs don't mean subs don't equal money necessary. And so, just because the channel is monetized does not mean you're automatically eating big chunks of money. No, only people that's eating big chunks of money is people that's getting heavy, heavy views. The sub count, like, look, once once the channel is monetized. That's what your that's what the goal is. Get the channel monetized. Once it's monetized, then your goal is to work on getting heavy views. Cause the more views equal more money. Just like I I believe I'm not sure I'm not I'm not sure, but I believe a million views only equal like four thousand dollars. But that's still four thousand dollars. <laughs> no kidding. It might be more than that. I might be a little. I might be completely off. But just just know you gotta get some heavy views to get a nice amount of money and. For those of you who don't know, 1K does not mean you're automatically monetized. No, you need 1K plus 4,000 watch hours. So 1K plus 4,000. You need both of them to go hand in hand, and then you got to get monetized. It, 1K does not automatically mean you're monetized. Know that Know that for a fact, because it don't. Some people got two, three, four thousand. It still are not monetized because they don't have enough watch hours. So therefore, if you're a YouTuber, if you watch YouTubers, hit the like button. Make sure you hit the like button over here because the likes 
push the videos out to more people so more, therefore more views can come. And therefore, somebody can't eat. You feel me? But that's the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you got any questions, bro, remember, I'm not like these other YouTubers. I'm not going to see your, your message seeing that you ask me something serious. Something serious, I'm going to just ignore you. I'm not going to do that. That's wrong. Because people, we, play, we have a phone all the time. And plus, it's not like I have like 10,000, 20,000 people on my Instagram DM me every day. So, therefore, I still see your message. So, and, and yeah. All the people, like, some people that, if you got like a, a heavy following, like on YouTube and Instagram, and you get a heavy DM, then yeah, all right. You, you have a reason and excuse that you're not replying to everybody's message. Because you, you got a whole lot of them. I understand that. You have a whole lot, but you should still take time out to go through them every once in a while to, to respond to the people that have been supporting you because they put money in your pockets. Especially if you're a YouTuber, getting heavy views, heavy support account, and people are paying for it. They, they put money in your pocket. You on Twitch, talk to your people, bro, because they put money in your pocket. No kidding. But this is the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I know this kind of was a long one. I didn't think it was going to go this long, but it is what it is, man. <laughs> Make sure you tap in. Make sure I sub up. Remember, I'm, do, I'm doing a giveaway. Do some promo. Tap in Rest on Media. Do some merch. Follow Blame the Grind on Instagram. I love y'all. Make sure I be safe. Catch the next video. Don't get a twist. I'm really ten toes to the pavement. Getting to it, little baby. Yeah, I'm all about my business.